So, you okay, know, I, again, I use the word velvety when I when I try to describe the sand to people because it's so soft here. Uh, there's really no other word that comes to mind when I when I want to describe it. It's it's really a, just a beautiful white with a, a golden brown mixed into it. The sand is just incredible. So, this is the actual just down the road are the lots that we're talking about. And so this is the exact same beach that you'll have there um, after it's cleaned up. Again, those are virgin beach lots. They've never been cleaned one time. The, the, the seaweed's never been raked off of them. And they're filled, as you'll see in a few minutes, with seashells. So when you clean your lot, this literally will be your front yard. And this will be your view from your kitchen your master bedroom, from your dining room, this is what you're going to be looking at each day. And then if you're coming in out of the ocean and you come back, more or less, this is the distance of your house, this restaurant is going to be in more or less position in the position that your house would be. Pool, palm trees, palapa shade, and miles and miles and miles of white sand beach. You know, this project right next door is called Playa Palmeira. The lots are about the same size as our lot. No title, no electric, no other services as well. And uh, the average right there, again, is about $125,000. Very similar to uh, Santa Nina. So it's double. Yeah, double the price of our And you know, some of the houses have already been built here, even though, again, they're running on generators. Uh, because, again, no services. But it gives you a very good perspective of stuff. what size house most people are creating or building in the area. And it kind of gives you a depth perspective of, of how far your house is going to end up being from the from the road, how much space you actually still have after you build the house. That's a Molinari right there. See that the marker? The post? <laughs> yeah, okay, go from the beach. Yeah, 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 right there. Post. At that where the water would start, this would be a zone of the problem. Yeah, that's exactly right. But Bill's exactly right. This is your federal zone marker, which, which den denotes your uh, the start of what your buildable footprint is. So they could actually extend that house out all the way to that post. It's smarter to set it back to keep away from, from to, to preserve the beach. You know, to not have beach erosion, and uh, you also have a little higher elevation as the lats go up. So you're going to have better views from throughout your house. This guy was Right, this is the marker, the beach yeah. marker. So you could put a pool right here in front. Sure. Oh yeah. Now I don't know what the buffer is. Is there a buffer between the property line and where you can park? Well, this is not the property line. 